All right, let's try this again. Sorry about that. My internet just decided to hiccup. It's really working. Let Paimon We're just going to skip that. through this real quick. Yep. Read that. It was a frame job. Paimon to ensure the text such special, however, since Akihito's poetry collection was an important, but as for the plagiarized poems, not only would they lack Akihito's seal, but the words would also react differently when exposed. Oh, yes, it appears that although the story is saddening, I cause her. I, I would be delighted. Yes. As Here you go. Ira. Uh, yes. Here we go again. Long ago, Inazuma had five legendary poets. People bestowed upon them the title of the Five Kasen. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenchukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Akahito had once belonged to the Five Kasen. Each poem he composed, he marked with a scarlet red seal. Hence the Aka. Very in his seal name. happy. Such a distinguished writer was he, and yet one of the poems he had submitted the previous year was found to be plagiarized. Akahito was exiled for his crimes, and only four of the Five Kasen remained. Sumizome went over Akihito's poems and noticed that the plagiarized poem lacked his seal. She immersed his poetry in a stream nearby, and only on the plagiarized poem did the ink run. Aoi no Okina passed by and witnessed Sumizome's doing, which he then recorded in a poem. Thus transpired the events of Suiko's poetry submission, and this is where the story comes to an end. Albedo completes the two portraits. He did a really good job. the story of the five Kasen. There's still one thing Paimon hasn't been able to figure out. Okay, what's that? One of the five Kasen is called Kurunushi, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that, how could the story of the five Kasen finish without him appearing at all? Oh. <laughs> oh, have you really not noticed? Hey, Lee. Good morning, good morning. Well, afternoon for you. What he means is that the story of Kuronushi was already embedded within the four poems. Mm-hmm. Huh? Really? That's right. The key lies in the poem that Ali no Okina wrote after seeing Sumizome rinsing the poetry collection. An average person could never understand the scene of a young girl washing Akahito's poetry collection in a stream. Even Ali no Okina couldn't figure out the meaning behind Sumizome's actions. He was simply reminiscing and thinking about his old acquaintances. However, for the perpetrator who framed Akahito, it was completely obvious. He was worried that if this poem was seen by the Shogun, then the Shogun could discover the truth behind the plagiarism incident. If that happened, then he'd be finished. Yep. So in desperation, he threatened Aoi no Okina to make him tear out this poem. Which means... The one who threatened Aoi no Okina is the same person that framed Akahito! Dun dun dun! What? Kuranushi? Yep. 
That's right. Though there are only four poems, they still manage to tell the complete story of all five Kase. Since the Shogun mentioned in the poems is certainly not the one of the five Kase, the only character left is the mysterious one with an unknown identity. However, this also brings something else to mind. Okay. The story of the five Kasen has more or less reflected everything that's been happening around us lately. Mm hmm Which begs the question, is there a Kuronushi in our world as well? Dun, dun, dun. Kuronushi? In our world? Hmm, speaking of which, I wonder if our dear Kazuha has come up with anything. Oh, right. Kazuha. He's been pretty quiet this whole time. Let's ask him. Let's all stare awkwardly at him. Yep, so we got four of the five. So I'm, I'm interested to see who we put on the last one because there's still one spot left. Hey, Kazuha, are you okay? You've been standing in front of this blank canvas for a while and you don't look so good. Apologies for making a wild assumption, but has the story of the five Kassen reminded you of anything? Thank you. Yes, a few things did come to mind, actually. However, they were nothing more than some past incidents regarding my family. Oh. I don't mind sharing the stories, but I'd prefer not to bring you any more trouble. I mean, we, hey, we deal with trouble. Here, Kazuha. You can always tell us whatever's on your mind. Mm-hmm. Kaidehara, please forgive my assumption, but perhaps you were thinking of the ride in Gokuden? The ride in Gokuden? What's that? What is that? It appears that Miss Kamisato and I were thinking of the same thing. Okay. But it also has much to do with the Yashiro Commission. It would be improper to speak of it here without the consent of Miss Kamisato. It's fine. Those of us here are all trustworthy, so there isn't any harm in it. However, this matter is somewhat complicated and may be difficult to explain. Let me start with a ride in Gokuden. As you all know, the Yashiro Commission's primary purpose is managing ceremonial and cultural affairs, and Inazuma's art of forging swords is a very important part of our culture. Mm -hmm. The ride in Gokuden were once the top five schools of the forging art in Inazuma. Although these families were swordsmiths by craft, they also held many important positions in the Yashiro Commission. Unfortunately, of the five, only the Amenoma art still maintains its artisan lineage. The descendants of the Ishin art are also still alive, but the craft has been lost to time. The descendants of the Ishin art are none other than the Kaidehara family. Whoa! We knew oh. Kazuha came from a noble family, but we had no idea about his connection to the Yashiro Commission and sword making. Yes, but that's all part of the past now. The Ishin art was lost with my great grandfather's generation. My grandfather was dissatisfied with my great grandfather's lack of effort. Oh. When he was young, my grandfather traveled all over Tevat to find a way to revive the family business, but it was to no avail. And in my generation, our last remaining family property was lost as well. Oh. I heard my elder brother mention that the decline of the ride in Gokuden happened very rapidly. In the span of a few decades, three of the families suffered various misfortunes and disappeared completely. Jeez. Later, there was speculation that all of these misfortunes stemmed from some background machinations. Yep. Meaning that someone wanted to wipe out the ride in Gokuden. Yeah, it seems a little However, coincidental. Since not every family of the ride in Gokuden came to ruin, such explanations were treated as nothing more than a conspiracy theory. Hmm. Indeed. I've also believed such ideas were just theories and rumors. However, I know that a major incident happened to my great grandfather when he was young. Oh. Not only did it affect the Kaidahara clan. But it nearly jeopardized the Kamisato clan's position in the Yashiro Commission as well. After reading the story of the five Kasen, I can't help but feel like it's pointing me toward the truth behind that incident. What exactly happened to your great-grandfather, Kazuha? I still can't say. I need to speak with someone to verify the details. 
Let's meet here again at noon tomorrow. Noon tomorrow, you got everything it. Everything I know then. Okay. Dun 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 dun. You've received no commissions from Catherine, nor do you have appointments with any friends, and yet the darkness. Yet in the darkness, a golden light leads you to a small island in the middle of the ocean. Hmm. What does this one give me? Floral courtyard. Amidst the Iridori festival, the florist Fushizomi is looking for someone to experience the art of Ikebana. Huh. Cool. 10 days, 14 hours. Okay, we'll work on that next. We're going to finish this one. Oh! Nice. Shocking greed. I love it. All right. Oh, no. I need to do this one. This is what gives me time. Whew. I don't usually change the time. I usually just let it happen. Uh, noon tomorrow? Yeah. Do, 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 do. I mean... That's still today, so I think that's not right, but we'll see. Yeah, following afternoon. Okay, does that give me time to go do my dailies real quick? Do, 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 do. Yeah. We're gonna just pop over and do all these real quick. Uh, an abyss mage has been seen performing a ritual on the hilly churls. Okay. Oh, we need to adjust my party. Cum. That's actually probably okay. I'm used to having uh, Lumine be a uh, Geo. So she does Geo and she knocks the shit out of things, but we can do it this way too. Dude, you missed me. That's embarrassing. Not that I want you to hit me, but I mean, just saying. Thank you. Over there? Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, and he's a fire abyss mage. All right. Hey, guys. Oh, didn't drop soon enough. Thunderclap. This moment will be frozen in time. Oz, reveal thyself. Dodge this. Cool it. As you wish, main Fräulein. I summon thee! Freeze! Dodge this! Oh, so sorry. What's the hurry? Oh. I'm like, where'd he go? Right there? Laugh all maniacally at me. That's super rude. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Ours cart, it was damaged by monsters. Gather materials. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Do, 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 do. Oh, nope. We are not going to switch to Animo. Hmm. Oh, it's one of these. Take this! By royal decree, you're in toast! There we go. Um, how about I just move away from that until my fire goes out? I'm so sorry! Hi. Where did the hilly- I killed the hilly churls right in front of you. Didn't you see me? It was awesome. You're all gone, but your cart's on fire. Do you want to do something about that, maybe? Needs to be fixed. Okay. I can't even imagine the smell of- Oh, oh, wait, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Don't do that. Attacked during a cutscene. That's cheap. Oh, it was on fire. Uh. I was distracted towards the end. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I was worried about the things destroying the cart. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, go to where the arrows are pointing. That's always a good plan. Oh, a fragile wood plank. Yep, that seems like the, the best thing to have here. You know what? We're going to do this really quick just in case um, they decide that uh, they're going to have me escort it as well. Um, My experiment will... If they're like, oh, now you can escort my thing as well. And we'll be like, oh, I mean, not the plan. Oh, she shouldn't. She shouldn't have these equipped. She's not Animo right now. She was Animo. Oof. Okay, so we'll fix that for Lumine in a minute. But, yep. They're back. Yep, I, I can, I can, yep, I see. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. How about I just help you with this real quick, okay? Hi, guys. This is why Sucrose is broken. Midnight Phantasmagoria. There. I figured there'd be more. Bashed up the cart. Where's my rope? Oh. Sure, I'll find that for you. Useless. There it is. I see it. Ooh, and some berries. We're gonna get those. Do, 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 do. All right. You've got long legs. We'll use you to run back. What's the hurry? All right. Oh, good. I don't have to escort him. Oh. All right. We've got one here. 
A group of cryo slimes appeared in the wilderness to defeat them to put an end to the threat. Electro attacks might mark one work uh, wonders against them. Yep. Okay. So we will switch back to Lumine. There's still a long road ahead. All right. We're gonna take this one back. We're not gonna take that one. Um, this does give energy recharge. Yeah, this one's got a better one. We need to. Okay. Boost that. Okay. So we've got uh, Berserker Exile and that one. Take Berserker back. Unless this one has energy recharge. Oh, it's a little silly. It's fine. And then... Ooh. Energy recharge. Here we go. Do you like me some energy recharge? Um, it's not much closer, but. Lynn's troubles talk to Lynn. Unless Lynn is the one in my quest, I'm ignoring Lynn. Lynn can solve their own problems. One more? Oh, it's right next to the cold place. I hate the cold place. I haven't finished it yet. I need to finish it. It's just so cold. What's this one? Hilly churls have ignited their exploding barrels, but why are they this cold? Foil their dangerous scheme and fast. Uh. All right. You know, I'm actually going to keep Kaya in case I need to get across the water. Which I do! Freeze! Cool it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they don't see me yet. Don't say that. Don't say they Freeze. see me already. Shoot. Hi, guys. We're gonna deal with you first. Just because, you know, you're troublesome. Ouch. There, you're dealt with. I hate the mages. They're the worst. Hi, guys. How you doing? Toss this, thank you. Hi, 
my friends. Oh, that was rude. I don't like that. This moment will be frozen. No, thank you. Oz, reveal thyself. Oh! No, 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 Fatui! Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nobody likes you, Fatui. Least of all me. No. No, almost. Ah! The insubordination. Dodge this. Oh, I wish I had Sucrose. By royal decree. I mean, we could waste time. No one would mind. Cool it. I slipped up. Yep, you did. Don't mind me. Midnight Phantasmagoria. No rest for the wicked. Oh, so sorry. Let's end this quickly. Oh, geez, they just keep coming. Too many things, 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 too many things. Bye, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you, next. I've literally angered everything on this side of the river. Just by existing. Freeze. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah, that way. That's the way I wanted you to do that for sure. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Fuck you all. Damn. Oh, all those things are still over there. Cool it. I'm not leaving all my loot. Fuck you guys, I'm out. Cool it. I want to help. Yeah, you're gonna help. Energy re recharge 3.6. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one. All right. Come on, let's get moving. Defeat all opponents. Five of ten. Oh. You. Oh, my God. 
Sucrose is really, really great. I didn't realize how good she was until someone was like, hey, you should try using her. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh. Chris, her AoE is really great at just, you know, covering everybody in a specific elemental energy so then you can mix and match and blow shit up, which is super fun. I just don't have enough XP to get her to the next branch of uh, Ascension, which is a bummer. All right, so those are done. Yay, level 30, what do I get? Ooh, one of those, one of those. Oh, I get a weapon? Okay, I gotta do some Googling really quick. Uh, the black sword. Okay. Ancient impact weapons. Okay. Pretty easy to ascend. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's a pretty good one. Uh, Serpent Spine. Probably be faster on my phone so I don't have to tab out every two seconds. You know, I'm gonna save it for later. I'll pick it later. Because I don't have to accept that right now. I will pick it up in a little bit after I can do some research and find out which one I like I just and which one works best with the people I have because I don't want to pick a weapon and then be like oh well you know I don't have the person for that yep we're gonna finish that don't worry um, but in the meantime we'll pop over here we'll send them out on another expedition and then we'll pop back over and advance time Add Astra Abyssoft. Hey, Catherine. Thank Claim you our for commission rewards. Thank you. Ooh. Add Astra Abyssoft. And adventure rank rewards, which are. Oh, I got another three of those. Nice. And nine of those. Perfect. I need the little yellow stones to, uh, Ascend Lumine. Who I really like using her, actually. I like her most on Geo, but that's mostly because I put a lot into that build. You're done. All the Muns, and Inazuma's still going. All right, so, oop, didn't mean Add to click Astra out. Mm-hmm, we need to dispatch some people and I'm probably just gonna get some more muns. Uh, yeah. Send Fischl, cause she gets it in half the time. Send uh, Kishin, cause she gets it in half the time. I need to get more people with I've got lots of people from Inazuma, but none of them have any boosts in Inazuma. Uh, three wishes. Yeah, nope, we're doing- we're doing the event ones, thanks. So we'll pop back down here. We were in town, I think. 
Oh no, we were in Rito because we were looking at the um portraits. Alright. Gosh, something's in my eye. Oh. Oof, it's all good. Quest completed, quest completed. All right. Now we will advance the time to noon. everyone has arrived how did your investigation go Last night I visited a former servant who once worked for my family I was able to learn the entirety of what happened all those years ago in my great-grandfather's generation the Ishin art was tasked with forging an important Goshinto according to an ancient forging diagram okay though all the craftsmen involved were very experienced the process was still unsuccessful Every blade that was forged was defective. Interesting. When the deadline came, the blade still wasn't finished. So the craftsmen all fled and hid for fear of punishment. The Kaidahara clan and Yashiro commission then conducted an investigation. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan eventually tracked down the craftsmen near the seaside. However, they met fierce resistance from the craftsmen. And in the end, they were unable to prevent them from escaping by sea. Okay. The Kaidahara clan was severely punished for the swordsmiths that had escaped. Oh. And the family gradually fell into decline. Moreover, I heard that the head of the Kamisato clan was injured by the fleeing swordsmiths. Which, combined with his advanced age, caused him to pass away shortly thereafter. Yes. The sudden passing of the family head left the Kamisato clan leaderless. Treacherous people took advantage of the situation and put the family status in the Yashiro Commission at jeopardy. This single incident had profound effects. Even after the position as head of the clan was passed to my father, the Kamisato clan still wasn't able to regain its prior reputation. Oh. But thanks to my brother, Iyato. everything is getting better now. The failure to forge the blade was ultimately attributed to a lack of required skill and finesse. The Kaidahara clan and the Yashiro Commission always believed that was the case. However, was it, though? The story of the five Kasen seems to imply that the failure didn't stem from a lack of skill, but rather the diagram had been tampered with by someone. Hey, hey, how's it going, General Ginyu? Happy Sunday. Miss Kamisato, I heard yesterday that the Yashiro Commission has still kept the diagram ever since the failed forging all those years ago. Might I ask you to do me a favor? He wants to see it. Yes, I understand. I will go back and search for the diagram. Please come meet me at the Kamisato estate later. I'm gonna go to your house? Yes. All right, let's go to the Kamisato estate. Oh, it's over there. I have... I have been over there. I haven't seen either of them yet. But I have been over here. Do 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 do. I guess what up? I'm invited this time. Everyone, I've managed to find the old diagram. Da 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 da. Hmm. Though the diagram is well preserved, you can still tell that it's seen at least three or four centuries of history. It's almost all of my favorite people in one place. That's pretty old. Is it still possible to find any evidence of tampering? 
At this point, we can only try our luck and see how we fare. Immerse the diagram in a basin of water. Oh! <gasps> Lay gasp. Although the effect is not too obvious, you can still see that some words have now started to smudge. Kazuha, this is clear evidence that this chart was indeed tampered with. Someone framed the Kaedehara clan all those years ago. I see. But I fear that I've discovered this secret too late. When my grandfather was young, he proposed reviving the Ishin art many times to my great-grandfather. But my grandfather was only scolded for being too foolhardy. Yesterday, the former family servant said that my great-grandfather even went to the Yashiro Commission to request that diagram from the head of the Kamisato clan. He then showed that diagram to my grandfather and asked him and his subordinates to try to forge the sword. Sure enough, my grandfather also failed. My great-grandfather then told him, if you can't find the secret within, then the Ishin art deserves to fade from the world. Oh. My grandfather left Inazuma in a rage after hearing those words. He didn't ever see my great-grandfather again, even till the day of his passing. Oh, that's sad. Looking back at it now, the argument between the two of them was simply meaningless. Oh, Hazua. I heard that your great grandfather was very industrious when he was young, but later in life, he no longer bothered with the forging arts. It appears that his failure took quite a toll on him. Kazuha, did your great grandfather really say, if you can't find the secret within? Did he use those exact oh. words? Yes. Oh. The servant said that he personally heard those words and still remembers them very clearly. My grandfather was so angry at the time that he smashed my great-grandfather's cherished bonsai tree. Yes, it appears that you understand my meaning. Mm -hmm. Kazuha, if your great-grandfather thought that the Ishin art lacked finesse, then after witnessing his son's failure, wouldn't he have said something more along the lines of your skills aren't sufficient but instead he said if you can't find, you can't the, find secret the secret within, don't you find that a little strange huh oh yep so you're saying my great grandfather may have very well known that the failure was due to someone's tampering yeah yes the current evidence suggests that is highly likely i apologize but would you all please accompany me to the Tenryo Commission? Yep. After I became a wanted criminal, the Tenryo Commission seized my family's last remaining estate. Oh. Which contained all of my family's old belongings. Have they not given I it back to, to you? Like, you're not a whereabouts of criminal anymore. If I can find them, we might be able to get some clues. All right, let's get moving. But, like, legitimately, he's not a criminal anymore. Did they not give him his stuff back? I would like I would like to vouch for him and get his house back. I mean, would I spend months on that? Probably. Oh, it would be so many months. All right. Tenryo commission. Oh, that's all the way down here. Oof. I know how to read maps. I don't know how to read maps. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, it's Sara. You're so cool. I haven't met her in game yet, but like, I like, I like the design of her. Hmm? What are you all doing here? Did something happen on Rito? Here to ask about something. Kujo Sara. Perhaps you still remember me. Yes, I do. You're Kaedehara Kazuha, a wanted criminal during the Vision Hunt decree. However, your arrest warrant has since been repealed. I feel like she's that really pissed off, angry, like, female cop who is just like, 
very no-nonsense doing her job. Yes, the items seized at that time are currently stored in the warehouse next to the police station. Since Kaedehara has come back to Inazuma, those items should be returned to their rightful owner. Mm -hmm. No, I'm afraid you misunderstand. I'm oh. not here to reclaim those belongings. I just want to investigate them for a personal matter. You don't want them back? I see. All right, I'll inform the police station. They'll take you into the warehouse. <clears throat> Kaedehara, about the vision hunt decree. Is she gonna apologize? That's all in the past now, Kujo Sara. There's no need to mention it again. I know you've also had your own convictions and struggles. <clears throat> I'm excited However, to actually may see I them. Ask something of you. Yes? What is it? Currently, I have no plans to stay in Inazuma. As a result, those items from my family's estate are of no use to me, Madam Kujo. I believe you are a person of integrity. After our investigation is over, I'd like to ask if you can handle those belongings for me. Please, sell them, and use the money to help the poor. Oh, Kazuha. All right, I understand. I'll be sure to take care of it. All right, police warehouse. Here we go. Do 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 do. Howdy. Ah, you must be here to investigate the Kaedahara clan's belongings. Yep. Well, Madam Kujo's already informed me of the situation. Please come this way. Thank you. Very, very prompt. Ah, the Kaedahara clan's belongings are stored in this warehouse. Unfortunately, the items are scattered throughout in order to save space. Hmm. My deepest apologies. However, I have clearly marked the corresponding items, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I'll be waiting for you at the door. Please come see me if you require any assistance. Okay. Kazuha, since the items are scattered throughout the building, I propose we split up and look for clues. Yes, sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help, everyone. Talk to everyone. Oh, with with pleasure, I will do that. Albedo. Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, I have yet to find anything of value here. Um. Whoa, this folding screen looks pretty old, though. That teapot is huge. Yes, perhaps if it were better maintained, then it could fetch a decent price. However, I doubt it could be sold in its current condition. Yeah? I was taking a closer look just now and noticed a large piece of dirt caught in the fabric fibers on the back side. The soil is deeply embedded into the cloth. That means a great deal of force was used when the dirt was lodged into the cloth. It's likely that this patch of dirt is from the very flower pot thrown by Kazuha's grandfather. Oh. Because this is not what we are looking for now. True. Let me think. If I wanted to leave a message behind, I would probably choose to leave it on something a little more special. Special. Hmm. 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 Seems to be thinking pretty hard. We better not bother him. All right, all right. Hey, Venti. Please say there's no wine here. Hmm. There must be some around here somewhere. You're looking for wine. I knew it. Do you see all these pots here? Some of them are bound to have liquor inside, <laughs> right? Damn it, Venti. Hey! Everyone else is trying hard to help, and you're over here looking for a drink. Fenty, no. <laughs> I merely jest, of course. Come on, we're close to uncovering the truth now. Why do you look so worried? Well, Paimon doesn't really get why Kazuha told Sara to sell all these belongings. What if we don't end up finding anything today? Then wouldn't Kazuha lose the chance of finding out what really happened all those years ago? You know, just saying. 
I know you are worried about Kazuha, but if you ask me, he is stronger than you think. Yeah. And since Kazuha made such a request to Sara, that indicates he's already made his choice. Whether we find out the truth or not today, or whatever it turns out to be, he's ready to accept it. No, not intuition. Rather, I've lived for a long time now, so you could say I have some experience in reading people. You've lived a really, really long time, and you act like a dunderhead. I think you are pretty much a dunderhead, but but you're a pretty insightful guy, too. Leave things here to me. You two can look around elsewhere. You just want to find the wine. You want to find the liquor and how this works. Xingqiu. Hey, buddy. What did you find, Xingqiu? I found quite the pile of old books. Of course you did. These books here are all related to smelting steel. Mm -hmm. And these are about the process of forging blades. This pile over here is all about plants and flowers. Hmm. The books about plants and flowers must have belonged to Kazuha's great-grandfather. Think there are clues in the books? I skimmed through them just now, but I didn't find anything particularly worth noting. Mm. I shall take a closer look and let you know if I find anything. Okie dokie. Ayaka. Hmm. How's it oh, going? It's you. I'm currently investigating the sword rack. She's so cute. Since the Kaidahara clan was a family of renowned swordsmiths, then this blade should be super valuable, right? I'm afraid not. Although the sword rack is made of fine wood, the swords placed here appear to be quite ordinary. Oh. Due to the dire financial situation of the late Kaidahara clan, everything of value has probably been sold off already. That makes the sense. The blade on the sword hasn't been sharpened, but there are many signs of use on the hilt. Perhaps Kaidehara used it for training as a child. Oh. Let Paimon see! Oh, there seems to be a couple uneven characters etched into the scabbard. Kazu... Ha. Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! That's cute. Paimon can imagine what Kazuha was like as a kid. <laughs> he would have been so cute as a little kid. I will continue investigating here and call you if I find anything interesting. Everyone, I've found something that you should all have a look at. Oh, What'd you find? Kazuha discovered something. <gasps> Let's go see what he's got. The tree. Okay. This flower pot was in my house for a long time. I heard that it was left behind by my great grandfather. Yeah. Have been dead for a while now. Well, after my great grandfather stopped studying the forging arts, he picked up the hobby of keeping bonsai plants. Most of his prized plants were given to others once he became seriously ill. Okay. But he specifically left behind this dead plant at the time and even instructed my grandfather not to throw it away in his will. My grandfather deeply regretted that he never managed to reconcile with my great-grandfather, so he left the plant exactly as it was. But now that I think about it, my great-grandfather could very well have left it behind for other reasons. Secrets. Hmm, now that you mention it, this flower pot is kind of suspicious. Yes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? A hidden compartment. Dun dun dun. Uh, uh, it's only a bunch of blank paper. I mean, maybe we you need to get it wet. Already discovered the compartment and swapped the contents? No, I do not think that is the case here. See the paper? It's quite yellowed, which means it's very old. Maybe we need to try using water again. Hmm. You mean to say that these sheets have been written with special ink? Like that which Miss Kamisato found before? Yes. Yes, I agree with this hypothesis. Okay, let's give it a dunk then. There is a pond outside the police station. I'll use the water there. Let's go see. <sighs> well, how did it go? Those weren't just plain old sheets of paper, were they? Just as everyone guessed, after I sprinkled some water onto the paper, writing did indeed begin to appear on it. It is a letter written by my great-grandfather. Oh? What does the letter say? 
Is it something you can share? It is. I'll tell you what my great-grandfather knew at the time, but before that, I wish to take you somewhere. Set the scene, okay, Everyone, I'm for it. Please follow me. Okay. Ooh, that's a walk. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. All right, let's see what we get. All right, spill the tea. Kaidehara, why did you lead us to this beach? It's a place related to the contents of the letter. It is. Mm -hmm. In fact... My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan tracked the fleeing swordsmiths to this very location. Oh. Our hypothesis was correct. My great-grandfather was well aware of the truth behind the defective blades. And it was right here where they encountered the culprit who framed the Kaidahara clan and the Raiden Gokaden. It reads, to whoever reads this letter, I, Kaidahara Yoshinori, have been held to a certain secret throughout my entire life. I don't have much longer in this world, and after much consideration, I finally decided to disclose the matter. All those years ago, when I was pursuing the swordsmiths alongside Commissioner Kamisato of the Yashiro Commission, I was not injured by one of the fleeing smiths. Rather... It was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight. Only a single eccentric stranger. This stranger claimed to be the one behind the failed forgings and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the ride in Gokaden. That person was of able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying oh, samurai had been defeated. Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment. But, after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name Niwa. I answered that it was my father's surname, and after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kuni Kuzushi. He then turned and left. Who's this guy? Kuni Kuzushi. So that's what really happened. Yes. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great-grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Oh. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden. My great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. He said, oh. as the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, mm -hmm. 
Perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Mm. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm. I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. Nope. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. And how are you feeling, Kazuha? To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. Okay. My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. So true. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. That being said, if the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. Sensible. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. Great! Now that we're done here, let's head back to Rico. Indeed. Do 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 do. There's still this last one. A story for you. Okay. All right. I saw Klee's name, so I'm excited. <gasps> it's Klee! When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabonga Iki. Yoniha, <laughs> this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabonga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. Oh. <laughs> that would be me. I like Kawabonga better. The Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine. And when the wind Kawabunga, dude. towards the blonde sky, is the first volume. Is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. Oh. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Hmm. Oh. Is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! She's like... a little kid, dude. No. She's full of light and optimism. Flowers for Princess Fischl. <gasps> oh, look! It's Fischl's story! Fischl? That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Klee? I want to read that story. <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. I'm glad you do, because I don't. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Uh-huh. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows 
It's just like how me and Dorogo are always together. I mean... Hmm. I wonder if Dorogo is getting bored now. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. When you're a pyro, all you want to do is see things burn. Like lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um, I... Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Yeah. That's right. Tell a story. The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You can show Dorico's story for everyone here. Mm-hmm. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative. I think <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. <gasps> Yay, great! Dodoko will be so happy. Oh, boy. Perfect. Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go, let's go! Okay. Do 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 do. You can run so fast when they're motivated. We better catch up. Please be mindful of your personal safety at all times. I'm always mindful of my personal safety at all times. Cause I wish to live. Oh. All right. I love the dogs. Hey, Bobby. I just wish I could pet them. I mean, I know they'll probably never have pets in this game, but that would be fun. Pets and mounts. All right. Clee and I just had a discussion mm -hmm. and we've decided. Okay. We're going to keep the content of the story a secret from you guys for now. Oh, <gasps> what? <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. But I want to know all the secrets. You can keep exploring the festival while we're oh. busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Why would you? Why? I'm the I'm the cool friend. You should tell me all the things. Uh. Oh, Paimon was hoping that we could all paint together. So unfair. I agree. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. Okay. We're gonna spy. I'm all about that. I'm all about eaves dropping. Dropping the eaves. So. What does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm. Dodoko goes to eat tri flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm. Although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yoinia. I have some more. Look. Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. Miss Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble her. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some more. No. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh. Then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Ask him for a loan? Who's Mr. Albedo? Who is he to you? He's my older brother. Wait. He's super duper smart. He like, can do anything. Are, is he though? Like for reals? too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time. To do paintings for everyone. 
Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the I Publishing House. Mm. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist. Teaching alchemist. Sucrose alchemy. And the other oh, he's teaching artist. sucrose alchemy. For people. Okay. Mia, let me I knew they were connected. I just didn't Mr. know how. Taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Solving crimes, yep. Okay, let's write this. Oh, shoot. I might didn't hear the last part. Nope. A while later. I think you sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the eye publishing house. All right. Let's see how much this costs. Do, 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 do. Hey. Here the Yai Publishing House. Yep. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. Oh? <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. Oh. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Oh. Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh. I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. Why? The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Are you saying no to this small child? I'm sorry, little girl. With her big eyes? Mm. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. Um, Miss Aratani, Darn tootin' will find a way. way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. And the printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this... We really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do mm. we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. I'm on, we never oh. give up. I won't let that happen. We may run away, but we never give up. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually... People started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Klee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has <gasps> quite a it's the spirit. I like it very much. It's Miko, and I'll be we heard everything. Oh, Lady Yai. It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. Mm -hmm. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl. You can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. 
Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. I think you are a wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, mm -hmm. there's only one way. You have to combine it with another print. Oh. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Cut it in half. Oh, man. It's a lot you gotta take out. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Like, look at... So she's, she says that she is Albedo's little sister. Like, legitimately? Because I, I keep looking at the ears, and I'm like, hmm. 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 Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now we just need to wait for an update from the Eye Publishing House. You and Mia, travel. They could be half siblings. That Thank would make you sense. Keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. You should spend some time with Klee too, Albedo. Yes, you're right. Take a break. Klee is family, after all. Oh. Five colors, true form. Uh, the festering fang. Oh, I gotta come all the way up. I'm like, where is it? Right there at the top. Yeah. All right. Back to Rito. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, it's in full swing! Yay! Today is the final stage of the Iridori Festival. Not only will there be Shinkyo's signing event, but Albedo's painting of Kurunushi will also be unveiled. <gasps> oh, and the last one? He painted the last one! Maybe Ooh. we'll find everyone there! Eh. I'm trying to look under there and I can't see. What'd you draw? What'd you draw? What'd you paint? Spoilers! Hello, Traveler. Paimon? Albedo? Albedo? Why does the portrait of Kurunushi all covered up? Paimon wants to see what your Kurunushi portrait looks like. Don't worry. The unveiling ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. Yay! I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. Ooh, who did you go to see? <laughs> Is that so? Uh, anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Okay. Okay. Looking for friends. Okay, I just need to find alcohol to find Venti. Yep. Hey, Venti. Oh, this is an alcohol. It's a cute little ramen stand. Well, Noodles. Hello, everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking. Yeah, they're clearly talking shit about us. Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. Mm. We were merely discussing wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. I mean, I like food. <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. Ugh, forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. Truth. About the festival, how about you sit right here and try my Inazuman snacks? 
Drink. Come on. This way first. All right, who we got up here? We've got, ooh. Always oh, signing his books. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you. Did it go well? Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the readers seem most satisfied. Very cool. Uh, Shinto, is that just Paimon or are you on the lookout for something? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. Oh! After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Oh. Fortunately, the crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. Oh. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. Well, do we got you covered? We're, we're masters of the bullshit. Then, please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. Absolutely. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. Bye bye. Oh, it's Ayaka and Ayato. Yay, yay, yay. Alright. Hey guys. What up? Ah, greetings, traveler. Paimon. Oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busiest person of all. Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. Hmm. Toma sure is taking his sweet time. How do you know Toma? Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. Oh, didn't think Toma works with them? Be forgetful like that. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. I love Toma. He, he's one of the, those favorite people. I was like, almost all my favorite people are here. Toma's not here. He's one of my favorite people. He's just, he's adorable. All right. He's so nice and diplomatic where I would just like punch someone in the face. He's like, no, 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 let's talk. Kazuha. I came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. Oh. <laughs> I knew you were still worried about me. Yup. Thank you. But please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty sounding excuses. Look. See this familiar harbor in front of us? Mm-hmm. Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. Okay, Gluttony, I approve of those blast brass knuckles that say words. Take care of them with words. I like it. But now, it not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, mm -hmm. but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. Yeah, Inazuma has already started to change, huh? I was thinking... In some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens, and when they finally let go, they are free to follow the wind as they please. It's time for the portraits and veiling ceremony. <gasps> Yes. I want to see what's on there. I 
want to see Everyone, what you drew. Welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today we have ushered in the final stage of our festival, and now we will reveal the final portrait of the five Kasen, Kuranushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Kaltz. There's like eight people here. Let's all count down together. Three, Three two, two, one. one. The look on his face. <laughs> What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background. I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. Calx forgets nothing. <laughs> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the Five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the Five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Yep, that's a little for ya. His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something, Paimon? Huh? But what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five costumes for us to find. Correct. Really? Come on then, who is it? Tell Paimon! Well, it's someone that knows every one of us. Well, to give the right paper to the right person every time. Connected with the Kadahara clan. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kadahara clan. <gasps> Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Really? Let's go. We'll get to the bottom of this. Look for that person. Did it a little, leading all your friends on a wild hunt like that? <laughs> As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this wild hunt. Huh. Hi, Mom wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. Oh. She thought it was interesting. So she asked me to tease them a bit. Of course she did. Huh? So it was Miko after all. Paimon knew what this thing had Miko written all over it. That's right. But using the story of the five Kasen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Mm? Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier. I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. Okay. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, dur, 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 but it dur, took dur. me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. Mm -hmm. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. Oh. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. 
If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. A very roundabout way. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter. Right up until the night when a legend of sword was smuggled away. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Why was everyone else involved? Yeah, it wasn't only Kazuha. You brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours. <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hope that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, mm -hmm. they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble. Because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. Kunikuzushi. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? Do I? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. Okay. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. My elemental sight? Okay, so I have to wait for everyone to leave. I have to wait for the dark of the night. Okay. Do 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 do. We stuff our faces until midnight. All right, here we go. Well, getting pretty late. Oh, it's probably the water thing. So Ayato must have been telling us to splash water on the portrait, right? I just had a cup of water randomly. No one's watching me come over to this and just toss water upon it. <gasps> it's, it's the Balladeer! Who? Oh, he's, he's probably someone I haven't met yet. So he was the one behind the trouble all those years ago! When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Mm -hmm. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. Oh. I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident. So I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. 